These guys are coming with parasites. We're going to be worming them, but you can use stomach tubing for so syringe feeding and giving them fluids and everything as well. So Heather's holding him, supporting him, supporting his body, and I'm just going to support the head. I've got these lovely little metal gags that we can pop in his mouth, and everything that I need is ready and close at hand. So we just want to gently slide this into the mouth, and what you can see is at the base of just where there is a kink on this gag, this is where the airways open up. So he's holding his breath at the moment, livid, there we go, opening up quite nicely. So we are going to hold this in place. Heather, would you mind just holding that for me? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just using a six French dog urinary catheter and I'm just going to gently, okay, you can move the gag up and out of the way now, nice and gently, avoiding the teeth. And I'm just going to gently insert this tube down the throat of the snake. Okay, if we move this up and out of the way. Beautiful. So Heather, would you mind straightening the snake out so it's held vertically? Fantastic. So that's just going to allow things just to easily go down. And with very, very, very little tension, we've pre-measured this tube and we are popping it between 33 and 50% of the snout to vent length in this snake. So keeping it nice and straight. Don't want to put any overt pressure on this tube at all. Just let it just gently slip down. Down a little bit. Beautiful. So, we then have our medication that we're going to pop into his tube and we're going to then flush it down afterwards with a little bit of water and I'm just gently supporting the snake, I'm not restraining it excessively. I'm going to pop all of this down until that's flushed nice and clear and we're going to hold this snake vertically, just gently withdraw this urinary catheter up and out of its mouth. So we're holding that snake vertically, making sure all of that material has gone where we want it to do. Yeah. Beautiful. And it's not going to regurgitate. So you can syringe in between 15 and 30 mil per kilo. Obviously, regurgitation is at a higher risk when you're giving larger volumes. But for medications in this way, um, it's only a very, very small amount that we've given. So not going to be a problem at all. And that's it. All done.